The conscious and intelligent manipulation of the organized habits and opinions of the masses is an important element in democratic society. Those who manipulate this unseen mechanism of society constitute an invisible government which is the true ruling power of our country. We are governed. Our minds are molded. Our tastes are formed. Our ideas suggested largely by men we've never heard of. This is a logical result of the way in which our democratic society is organized. To better understand the current state of modern-day media manipulation, we must first look at the father of propaganda, Edward Bernays. His influence on the 20th century rivaled that of his uncles, Sigmund Freud, as Bernays pioneered the idea of crowd psychology with Freud's psychoanalytical ideas in what would become a new political ideal on how to control the masses. In his 1928 book, Propaganda, Bernays wrote, If we understand the mechanisms and motives of the group mind, it is now possible to control and regiment the masses according to our will without them knowing it. He called it the engineering of consent and proposed that those, those who, who manipulate, manipulate this unseen mechanism of society constitute an invisible government, which is the true ruling power of our country. It was Bernays who introduced the corporate giants to crowd psychology methods and polished techniques to manipulate society. He convinced the population to buy on impulse things they didn't even need by linking mass-produced goods to their own unconscious desires. The tobacco industry hired Bernays to persuade women to take up smoking. And the Alcoa Aluminum Company asked him to drive the campaign for the national fluoridation of our water supply. A consumerist culture was born, and the U.S. government took notice. In addition to famous corporate giants, Bernays also began working for the federal government. They adopted his technique of manufacturing ever-present dangers and then maintaining a constant state of fear to give those in power greater control of what Bernays called the mass mind. Edward Bernays, who's the father of modern advertising and propaganda, he literally wrote the book, Propaganda. Joseph Goebbels, on record, the Nazi propaganda minister, used a lot of his information and, and, and twisted it to his own designs. Bernays was the chief psychological warfare expert for more than 20 years, advising the Department of War. He, he advised them to call it defense, don't be honest anymore. Call it the Department of Defense because you're actually going to run giant imperial slaughter operations. 